<laughs> it is three o'clock in the morning. I guess Erin decided to start her day early today. Well, at least she's happy. But man, it's going to be a rough day with such little sleep. <laughs> You'd think we'd be heading to a theme park with that level of excitement. In my personal opinion, the only reason to be up this early is if we are actually headed to a theme park. Well, we may not be headed to a theme park, but I do know a way that we could wake up and get a little piece of that theme park magic here in our living room. Dress Aaron up as a wizard and pretend like we're riding on Forbidden Journey? Um, no. Sing It's a Pirate's Life for me and splash water on our faces? What? N never mind. We should brew a pot of Expedition Roasters coffee. Oh, that's a much more sensible idea. I guess I'm too tired to think straight. What flavor should we make? I'm thinking that maybe we could try their newest flavor. Wonderland Coffee Crumb Cake. Oh, that flavor sounds really good. Or we could brew Fortune and Glory Bourbon Streusel. Or Enchanted Tiki Coconut. Honestly, I'm so tired of having a feeling that we're going to have multiple cups, so let's brew them all. Uh-oh. Sounds like Aaron requires our immediate attention, if you know what I mean. Want to take this one, Daddy? Uh, what was that? I think I hear the kettle boiling already. I'm going to go grab that and make uh, the coffee, okay? But the kettle wasn't even on. <sighs> oh, well. As long as he comes back with a cup of Expedition Roasters, I really don't care. Come on, Aaron. Let's go take care of business. <laughs> Start your expedition today at ExpeditionRoasters.com and use coupon code DUO15 to save 15% off your first purchase of Expedition Roasters themed coffees, shirts, and mugs. You can even get an art print of your favorite bag design. Brew your happy place. Expedition Roasters, an adventure in every bag. Hi, and welcome to the Theme Park Duo Podcast. Grab your park map, churro, and hop in line with us as we take you on a coast-to-coast -coast adventure through the world of theme parks, haunts, conventions, and more. Now, here's your hosts, Nikki and Gabriel. Hello, all you rambunctious theme park fans out there. Welcome back to the Theme Park Duo Podcast. I'm one of your hosts, Gabe. I'm Nikki. And we are the, the theme, theme Park, park Duo. Duo. And we have a super fun topic today. I really like it. I feel like this really fits who we are. Yeah. Well, <laughs> Don't know what that says. It mostly fit who we are before we became parents, but we still try to do it every once in a while. True. Yeah. If you're very curious of what we're talking about, <laughs> we're talking about drinking. We're talking about drinking at theme parks specifically. <laughs> theme parks. Southern California theme parks. No, not entirely. Well, I mean, at least the uh, the list that we have accrued yeah. is a majority of the SoCal theme park locations. Uh, there are some places that we really like to go to out when we visit Orlando uh -huh. and go to those different places, but, you know, obviously, we do a majority of the drinking in SoCal. And in the past. <laughs> but <laughs> And in the past, that is but, correct. And when she goes to bed. <laughs> no. Well, you're well, not drinking, you're eating. Well, <laughs> You froze it too long. Nikki okay, has I a bought, I bought a frozen strawberry daiquiri like pouch from the yeah, store, from the but store. you're supposed to thaw it for a while. But I just took it. Now it's like it. now it's like a like a, a overly done slurpee it's like where a she's snow eating cone. it with a spoon. No, it's like a snow cone. This is a new low. <laughs> <laughs> so while Shovel we're recording, I'm eating a strawberry daiquiri with a spoon. <laughs> it's pretty low. Hey, pretty I low. had to get into the feel of the episode. And Aaron's asleep, and it's been a hard day because she's sick and teething and grouchy. She's kind of all of the above. Yeah. Yeah, it kind of sucks. So I want to be tipsy. I don't think you're going to get tipsy from that. I'm not. You're going to get mostly full from the ice. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well. It's only 5% alcohol. Mm -hmm. Before. <laughs> really? That's it? That's it. That's low. I didn't read the package before I bought it. <laughs> I should have bought five. <laughs> <laughs> just should have bought a bottle of tequila. You should, you, no, that's, that's excessive. That's really excessive. Anyway, before Nikki of goes off and buys more <laughs> alcohol, let's jump right into the, the theme, theme park, park bulletin. bulletin. In between the intro and now, Nikki has left. 
and come back with an assortment of alcoholic beverages. That's not true. I'm still shoveling. <laughs> Shuffling the ice, with the ice in your mouth. <laughs> yeah, that is exactly what's happening. Totally not because of alcohol, because I haven't had any yet. I'm so slap happy right now. Mm-hmm. Oh. We're tired. Oh, man. It's a lot of stuff. Yeah. Anyway, the topic that I wanted to bring up today for Theme Park Bulletin was the opening of Hagrid's Magical Creatures Motorbike Adventure. You mean the opening of Hagrid's Magical Q? Yes, <laughs> essentially. Very not magical, uh, if anything else. But it's something we haven't covered yet, uh, Hagrid's. I'm just going to call it Hagrid's because I don't want to go through the yeah. whole name every, every single time. I, I'm not going to waste them, waste, waste my time, like seriously. Uh-huh. So Hagrid's opened up. And there was a lot more people than I was fully expecting and I think it was a lot more than what Universal was expecting. Oh, yeah. Um, so the ride opened up to immense popularity, and a lot of people showed up really early in the morning. It was like showing 10-hour waits for this. And, you know, there was a lot of issues that kind of happened throughout the day with going down for weather, going down for, you know, technical difficulties, and a lot of different yeah. things. And if you looked at ThemeParkDuo.com, our buddy over at uh, Views with Views. Uh, he did a little bit of an article of his experience of going to Hagrid's on opening day, and it was anything but smooth, yeah. anything but magical. And um, but it seems like they're kind of getting their get they're getting their stuff together at this point, and things are kind of running a little bit smoothly. Uh, the only downside to the attraction is that it has to go down whenever there's lightning and and, and uh, inclement weather within oh, so a certain that's all area. The time. Yeah, I mean, like <laughs> it runs in the rain. Okay. But if there's lightning. In the area, you have to shut it down. I'm sure there's a lot of rides like that. Like the whole, does the Hulk close when there's lightning? I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I'm pretty I mean, sure. So that's nothing new. No, it's not. With the new attraction, with the popularity and the long lines, it just it just as exacerbates that problem. Yeah. But um, one thing that was brought up on Twitter, and I think a lot of people kind of jumped onto this, was one person decided to say that Universal purposefully inflated the lines or the wait times so that they could get publicity. Yeah. So they're saying basically Universal knew it was going to be popular and they caused, they took steps in order to ensure that those lines were going to be as long as they could possibly be. I think that that is completely wrong. Yeah. I think that that is the wrong thing to say about all these people who are work so immensely hard to, you know, get this ride opened and running, do I think that there were some mistakes in the choices? Yeah, probably. Like, not having uh, the digital queue system set yeah. up. Not having soft openings. Yeah. Uh, and, and things like that. Soft openings definitely should have happened. Yeah, had. there was none of those. So, you know, there was a lot of things that were not done in order to kind of help fix those problems. But I don't think in any way, shape, or form they were doing it purposefully to to get, like, these huge lines so that people no. would be like, oh, look, there's 10-hour waits for Hagrid's Magical Creatures Motorbike Adventure, and look over at Galaxy's Edge, there's nothing. Yeah, no. And I don't want to even entertain the argument or comparison that an opening of the first edition to Disneyland since Toontown and the addition of the very the first e-ticket attraction since Indiana Jones is anywhere near the same as opening an attraction in an existing land. You can't compare the two. You're you're comparing apples and oranges at that point. You really are, and they it, they're on, the only reason they're comparing them is because they opened around the same time. Literally, that That's the I only mean, reason. like this happens all the time when it comes to Disney Universal, whatever Six Flags, whatever it may be. If rides open up at the same time, they're going to get compared. So, I, I don't know. I, th- I think it's a big mistake to kind of compare the two. I I completely disagree with the people who think that Universal is doing this on purpose. Yeah, it's just conspiracy theories. <laughs> Almost. Yeah. You know? And, and I, I think it's kind of um, taking, you know, theme park... Uh, fans in the wrong direction. Yeah. I mean, as it is right now, Twitter is just a cesspool for, you know, negativity. When is it not? For anything. Good point. <laughs> I mean, then why add to it? By throwing out these stupid conspiracy theories of 
theme parks not respecting their guests. Potsters. Seriously, potsters. Yeah, that's why. So, I mean, I just wanted to throw my two cents. I just wanted to throw my two cents into that conversation. That you don't agree. No, not at all. I think, and also, I think it's a complete disrespect to all the people who worked so hard on getting that attraction up and running. Yeah. You know, a lot of these decisions that are being made aren't necessarily to the people who are working on the attraction. You know, there's a lot of decisions that are made on different levels that can affect everybody else. Yeah. So the people who are building the attraction, who are working on it every single day, could have been like, we we need a soft opening, guys. Yeah. Totally need it. And six people above them are like, no, you don't need that. Yeah, I need to, you know, just train train the people actually working the ride a little bit more, get them more comfortable with it and the processes and all that. So, yeah, that should have happened. But ultimately, like, I I watched a ride through. It looks fun. It looks stunning. Yeah. It looks stunning. So like, it's I, beautiful. So I think, you know, once all this hype dies down, once, once the crowds die down a bit, you know, and it just becomes a normal ride, I think it'll be a fun ride to go on. Everyone's going to forget about it eventually. Oh, yeah. Not the ride. People are going to forget the, about the drama. Yeah. It always goes away. Yeah. Like, always goes away. So... That's my two cents. I guess I could have gone in like a... Pet peeves? Not really. Park peeves, sort of. Park peeves of people yeah. not shutting up. <laughs> I don't know. Could have been. the man with the podcast. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Nikki, what is our fun topic of the day? Daiquiri. Stop eating. <laughs> um, well, we already said it. I know you're supposed to go and do it again. I'm oh, sorry, I was too busy drinking to talking talk about our drinking. You're still topic. eating. You have a spoon. I know, but it is thawing out. <laughs> okay. Well, our fun topic is the favorite places that we, the theme park duo, like to drink at SoCal theme parks. Pretty much. Yeah. So we can kind of just go through the list of places that we like to drink at and uh, what we like about them. Yeah. Um, this isn't in any particular order. No. I mean, we, it we'll just, just really park depends. park by park. Yeah, it just depends on our vibe. It depends on what we're looking for at the time. What kind of drinks we want. Um, that sort of stuff. Yeah. So, you know, these things really change. It's like the ebb and flow of bars and restaurants and things like that. Yeah. I'm doing this movement with my hands. And also, very also, majestic. uh... T- uh, the time of year, like special events, have special drinking opportunities. Oh yeah, you're totally, you're totally. Yeah, 100% so we can talk right. about that too. So Nikki, what is our first location of debauchery? Debauchery. Yeah. I don't know about debauchery, but our first location for drinking to at drinkery. a park with roller coasters is That's a bad Six mixture. Flags Magic Mountain. Very nice. Yeah. So the one place that we have drink there is the Metro Park Pub. And that is located in the like Metropolis area, right next to the the Justice Hall, or Hall of Justice. <laughs> the, the just the Justice Hall, where Judge Judy takes place. The Hall of Justice. It's a dark ride of just Judge Judy in there, just, <laughs> just making different faces. Yeah, uh, it's literally right behind the Hall of the Justice. Hall of, the Justice the just, Hall. The Justice League. The Justice ride. Hall. The Justice League. It's gonna be ride. our new T-shirt. The the just- Justice Hall. <laughs> uh, yeah, so Metro Park Pub. And they do fun things. That's the one thing I like about this <laughs> Don't pub. our old bars do fun things? No, but n- let me sew my thoughts together. My thoughts together into a chain of sorts. I don't know what I'm saying. But okay, so it's the Metro Park Pub is what it's known as all the time. And then during the holidays and special events, they kind of theme it differently. Theme it. Yeah, so like for for the holidays, the Fire Nice Pub and uh, you know, Fire Nice Lounge. Lounge, yeah, not pub. And they have like characters, uh, you know. You can do the marshmallows there. Yeah, roast marshmallows, mm-hmm. and it's just it's fun. And I know they've themed it to other things. Oh, what uh, what it it was like six feet under or something. Yeah, it was Halloween. like the Six Feet Under Lounge or something yeah, for, something for like Fright that. Fest or yeah. something. It was something along that line. Yeah, and for us, I think what's nice about this place it is is that it's just completely laid back. Yeah. There's no sense of urgency. There's no like, oh, I need to get this mug or I need to get this table or anything. It's just about sitting down, having a cold beer, relaxing. There's and that really is times. all that has to be. Yeah. And they have good food, too. Yeah. Uh-huh. They have flatbreads. And one of the things that... I really liked. 
They had chicharron nachos, Whoa. so pork rind nachos, essentially. That's cool. It was really good. <laughs> so make sure if you visit Six Flags, Magic Mountain, um, check out the Metro Park Pub because we really like it a yeah. lot. What's the next one? Uh, what are we moving to Six Flags now? Or oh my gosh, we're already at Six Flags, druggy. Dr- I'm drinking. Um, <laughs> uh, we're moving on to Knott's Berry Farm, right? Yeah, there is another bar in Six Flags that's good, never but I've never gone to it. So well, I've gone to it, but it's, oh. but I like I like Metro Park Pub more. So yeah. I'm gonna leave is it, it at the that. is it the uh, the Full Throttle Bar? Yeah, Full Throttle. Yeah, isn't that a Julie Piano Bar? I don't know. Did I make that up? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I, think, I think it's a dueling piano bar. I'm really not sure. It is. There was an opening for it. it was there like was? A, yeah. Oh, yeah. We went yeah, to that. Yeah, dueling mm. piano bar. Um, no, we didn't. I didn't. I no, didn't. no. We we met in there for Fright Fest. Yeah. That's where. That's why we were in there. Yeah. That's, that's No, it's time. not dueling piano. It's because they were playing sports in there when we were in there. And it became a dueling piano bar after. Did it? I'm looking it up. I don't know if you're right or show. wrong. We'll be back after these short messages. And we're back, and Nikki's wrong. Nikki was right. <laughs> Nikki was right. It's the full throttle dueling piano bar. Okay, fine. Yay. I just don't remember the pianos. Oh, at select evenings over the summer, and that was from 2017. So I don't know if it was a limited time only dealio. I don't know if it's still going on. You two were years you were later. both right and wrong. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> I was right, but I don't know if it's still going on. Probably not. I'm okay. assuming no. Maybe on select nights over the summer. Maybe <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> don't go there and tell. Don't go there saying that theme park duo sent you there for. Theme park duo said there was a Julie piano bar. Where there, is that? There used to be. There may or may not be anymore. Look it up yourselves. We are not your encyclopedia. <laughs> we are a source of information, but oh maybe God. not that information. We are. <laughs> We're a theme park podcast, not a dueling piano podcast. We're, we're mostly a source of opinions and some information that you could probably have found out sooner if you looked online. Possibly. <laughs> no, definitely. You don't come here for news. We come here for that. Oh, my only source of bi-weekly news is the theme park duo podcast. <laughs> I don't know what else I do the rest of those two weeks, but it's not learning stuff. They don't own- <laughs> <laughs> You may be correct. <laughs> Who knows? Okay, I am off the rails. Let's get bit. back on the, the rails. rails. <laughs> and take the train over to Knott's Berry Farm for some more day drinking. <laughs> <laughs> so at Knott's Berry Farm, I think it's no surprise to anybody that our favorite place favorite favorite place to, favorite place to go uh, I'm not who's drinking. The drinking one? I'm not drinking who's the drinking one? <laughs> um, Obviously our our favorite place to go is the saloon. Obviously that is the one and only place that we would find ourselves drinking constantly. It's the shows that are in there are fantastic. Just like the old timey vibe of being in the old west in a in like in a saloon and just having a nice cold boysenberry beer, boysenberry cider, or the classic boysenberry bite, which yeah. is fifty percent boysenberry beer, fifty percent boysenberry cider, all together. Ooh, so good! Love that place. So, and I love the show. And you know, I've seen it a million times. But the show fun. rotates too, yeah. so it's different during the holidays and things like that. Yeah. And then they also, I mean, like we don't often like go outside of that. Like if we are drinking outside of the saloon, we're walking around. Like we're not in a particular location. Yeah, I mean, they have the the place usually. Uh, you sometimes just randomly over by the where the red barn is during Halloween. Or I, it, I just call uh, the, it. It is a giant red barn. I, I just call it the red barn. It's the wilderness dance the hall. The wilderness dance hall. It's it's forever in my head. It's just going to be the red barn. Well, um, because it is a literal red barn. Yeah, but that's not even the haunt that's there right now. That's not even the maze that's there right now. But it's literal. It's, it is a red barn. True. Okay. Well, anyway. That, it's a giant red barn. That, like, <laughs> sometimes they have the beer stand over there. Like, mm-hmm. And they have like chairs out. You know, we'll just chill over there. Um, does the 
Does the ghost town grill sell bleak beer? Yeah, I've gotten boys yeah, beer before. Yeah, we've gotten beer there yeah. with, with dinner. But for or me, lunch. It's, there's a different vibe for that than there is for the saloon, and yeah. I appreciate the saloon a lot more. I mean, on nights during hunt, like no questions asked, it's it's ghost town grill. Yeah. You know, having a boys beer, beer, having your dinner in the middle of the fog, fantastic. Yeah. I mean, now you could go over to uh, the chicken dinner restaurant. Yeah. Oh, Instead they have a the bar, bar there, there. Too. Honestly, though, it's not my favorite place to drink. It really isn't. No. It, it, I don't know what it is. I think it's just the vibe of the place. Yeah. We've if you gone had, there. If you couldn't, to, if you couldn't yeah. tell, like, we're all about vibes. We are. Like, we've gone there before, and we sat at the bar, and we had a drink, and it was fine. But, you know, just it's just, it's a it's like a restaurant bar. It's not their number one priority. So we would much rather go to a place like the Saloon, you know, or someplace like that. Um, that doesn't mean you won't catch us there oh, or no. catch us at, like, Friday's. Friday's yeah. drinks are super weak. They are. That's why you will not catch us there. We were only there once. And never went back. Yeah. Um, but no, but like for if if we're gonna go drink before um haunt, we'll probably be over at Amber Waves. Because it's like Amber decorated, Waves, yeah. you know. And, and they it's have fun. a special drink menu. Yeah. And sometimes you can get shots. Or not sometimes, they have it every year. Yeah. You get shots that actually come with the shot glass and they'll say not scary farmer or haunt or whatever it may be on there. Tired. No. <laughs> <laughs> Not tired. Yeah. Um. So that's pretty much it for knots. Yeah. Yeah. So that's that's it's a nice little list. I mean, knots isn't the place you go to drink. You know. Yeah. I mean. Sometimes you do. Sometimes you do. Sometimes it just depends. I feel like that's well, everything on this list. Yeah. Like boysenberry festival. Probably gonna get a little tipsy that day. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's because you have the drinks first, and then you don't eat until later. Yeah, but also the way we eat that day, it's not like it's very sporadic. It's very, it's very grazy, and we share grazy. Like yeah, like, like grazing you, like a cow. Yeah, yeah, Brrr. yeah, and, and it's not we, like the catawampus. Yeah, it, it's very catawampusy our eating that day. I don't feel like that kind of wampus eats much. Look no, at it. It's, that's why we get drunk. Skinny as a stick. No, no well, anyway. Well, <laughs> Boys and Bear Festival, we always get the tasty card. We always split a lot of the stuff. So mm-hmm. we're eating throughout the day, but not like all at once. And, you know, we're drinking in between. So you get a little tipsy in a day. It's like a, it's like a nice ebb and flow of, yeah. of feeling it, not feeling it, feeling it, yeah. not feeling also it. Also, Christmas time. I tend to drink during Christmas time there. I'm trying to think. Oh, no, that's for later. That's a different location. No, well, I don't... Did they do it last... Well, I don't know. I wasn't drinking last... Well, no, I was drinking last Christmas. I was not pregnant. Um, <laughs> the the spiked, like, um, coffee and hot chocolate. Did they do that? Yes, they did do yeah. that. It just wasn't as... Um, big of a... Big a to-do. Yeah. Like, it wasn't, like, sitting out on the side. You had It was, like, kind of, like, in the back. You had to ask for it. You had to, like, ask yeah. for it. Yeah. Um, but they were still doing okay, it, and that yeah. was really fun, like, too. That's, that's also one of my favorite parts of drinking at Knott's, is, is getting the spiked top beverages at Christmas time. Also, secret drinking. <laughs> Undercover what? drinking. What? Because it comes in those, like, nice Knott's Christmas mugs, the plastic ones. Oh, yeah, so no stuff. one knows. <laughs> no one, everyone just thinks, oh, the person's having hot chocolate. <laughs> having more. <laughs> Yeah, okay. This is a good segue into one of my favorite places to drink at um, the Disneyland Resort, which is the holiday beverages at the Grand Californian. Yes, it's those drinks thing. are really good. Yeah, and I mean, that one, okay, holiday drinks, the Grand Californian, Trump, not holiday drinks, because it's, a little you're bit. in the Grand yeah. Californian, there's a piano, there's, there's the a big, giant, big tree, <laughs> there's the giant there's the uh, fireplace, fireplace. Yeah. you know, and there's there's the, the gingerbread house, and, and they give it to you, if you're eating it there, to, if you're eating it, or if you're getting the drink there, it's like in a one of those glass coffee it's mugs. A very nice glass mug. Yeah, so it's just, it's the whole atmosphere of it all, and it's just, it's so nice. Yeah, and they have coffee, they have hot chocolate, and they also have hard, uh, or they have apple cider. Apple cider. Which, that apple cider is ridiculous, yeah. and they put, like, the big stick of cinnamon in it. Oh, so good. Oh, so good. Yeah, so I've... atmospherically, I just, I love, I love holiday drinking there. So, if, if I ever get coffee from there, I usually put Kahlua in there. Yeah. Kahlua's nice within and, coffee. And if the hot, with the hot chocolate, I do the peppermint schnapps. The peppermint schnapps. Yeah. 100%. Peppermint schnapps isn't bad in the coffee. I just feel like it goes better with It goes much chocolate. better with the hot chocolate. Yeah, you can't deny that. Yeah. But, small side note, the gingerbread men in that location, specifically in the Grand Californian, 
oh my god <laughs> mind-blowingly good gingerbread yeah. man so i gotta get one of those every time i have have myself a drink over there yeah and it, then just for normal drinking there like um what is the name of that lounge? The, the, rest, Her, the Hearthstone or something like that? Hearthstone. Hearthstone? Hearthstone? Yeah, I think so. Runestones? Yeah. Rolling Stones? Sure. Yeah. Well, anyway. Stone Temple Pilots? Stop. Sorry. The, <laughs> the, the bar in the Grand Californian is also very nice. It's cozy. It's loungy. You know, there, it's a really nice bar to sit at. You know, I, even we just went in there one day and got coffee. They give you spiced nuts? They do. They well, do. it's like a it's like a nut mixture. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah, it's very nice. Mm-hmm. It's, it's actually t- really tasty. I've, I've polished off a few bowls of those. Like, <laughs> Give me all your nuts. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, you know, I really like having uh, having a drink in there. It's actually quite nice. Yeah. Um, outside of that, there's a lot of places to drink at Disney that we actually really. Do you want to stick really... to Downtown Disney first? <sighs> yeah, we'll stick with Downtown Disney. I mean, like. Steakhouse 55 is another one that comes to mind. Oh, yeah. Uh, in the Disneyland Hotel. A little bit more and then when uh, you get refined. Drunk, and then when you get drunk in there, you can, there's that car you can just hop right in. Just like, sit into the... <laughs> the little, that little car, <laughs> that little ride vehicle. It's the, uh, it's the uh, Autopia. Autopia car. Which, by the way, people, it's Autopia. Not, not auto Autotopia. <laughs> it's Autopia. I have get it right. I oh, have my God, several, that annoys me. several drunk pictures in that Autopia car. In the like lobby. Nikki's just like holding her hand up to her head, like looking in the distance, <laughs> like doing one of those poses. You know what I mean? Yeah. Looks like you're saluting, but you're like looking in the distance, like with great posture. Yeah. Um, no, Steakhouse Fifty Five is really good. It's it's a place that's a little bit more refined with its uh-huh. drinks. So it isn't a place where you're just gonna go, go get like a rum and coke or something. You're like, you no, would, yeah, you, you would get like one of the there. nicer drinks off the yeah, menu. Yeah, you sit there, get like a, drink a nice or Manhattan two, or something, and then, and then you get like maybe a flatbread appetizer. Yeah. We got a shrimp flatbread oh, from there that was so, so good. good. Oh yeah, so good. Oh, and then speaking of drinking, the the little um, quick service place right outside of there is where you can get the the Dole, Dole Whip flow with, with rum. rum. Yeah, right next to Dole, right next to Goofy's Kitchen. Uh-huh. It's in that little coffee shop. Yeah. yeah, so that's also right there in that back corner. And then right near that is one of our favorite places to go. Ever. I don't think they need us ever. to even tell them. Ever. <laughs> ever. The pool. No, no, no. <laughs> You've actually never been in that pool. The bathroom in the frontier <laughs> land tower of the Disneyland Hotel. One of those towers has a bathroom that you have to like go down stairs. That is the Adventureland one. Yeah, that one freaks me out. The only reason why I remember that specifically is because most of the lines that I've waited in for Trader Sam's, spoiler, it's Trader Sam's, uh, <laughs> I've gone and used that restroom yeah. while waiting in line. Like People are like, oh, wait, well, hold your line, hold the spot in line for you. And I go... <laughs> use the restroom okay i was holding myself from saying something a little bit more <laughs> blunt blunt <laughs> yeah. okay well but yeah. yes trader sam's trader sams we love trader that sam's place. and tiki bar we've gone there countless times nikki is sitting next to many of the mugs that i have collected from uh over the years oh, from yeah. trader sam's i don't have every mug have I have a good, a good I have a good handful of them. Yeah. I mean, like for me, it isn't about like the the reproduction of like the zo- shrunken zombie head. Like there's like six variations and six different colors of it. It's like I don't need every single color. I you think only I, have four. <laughs> I have four? <laughs> yeah, you have blue. You have um no, I tan. Have, I have three. No, you have blue. You have tan. You have black, and you have a glass one too. No, there's no glass one. I don't have a glass one. There's only those three. Are you sure? I'm 100% positive. It's only those three. It's like the light, the greenish blue one, there's like the dark, dark green one, and then there's the tan one with the green highlights. I feel like you're missing stuff. No, that, everything is there. The only two things that are not there are the, the ones that are not Trader Sam's mugs that they had at the opening before they had their own mugs. Okay. Well, yeah, yeah, so that's three. literally everything there. But yeah, no, I don't need every single color, even though I have three of them. Pretty sure one of those came from Walt Disney World, from Grog Grotto. So. Well, yeah, definitely. Well, no, I'm talking about one of the, the shrunken zombie heads. Yeah, I think the clear one did. There's no clear or, oh, <laughs> shrunken I meant the zombie tan. head. I meant the tan the, one. The tan one, I think, might have come from uh, Walt Disney World. It, could say, it says on the bottom. Trader Sam's. Second edition. No, that's no. Disneyland. Nikki's checking each one now because she's <laughs> curious. Are you sure it'll say Grow Grotto? Yeah, I'm pretty positive. Uh, like, look under the uh, Nautilus. The Nautilus says Grog Grotto on the bottom. 
we also, uh, I guess, like in conjunction with uh, with yeah, Trader Sims and Shannon Tiki Bar, we'll have to say Grog Grotto in the same discussion. Oh yeah, because we also like it's, Grog Grotto. It's the same thing essentially, just like a different location. It's on the East Coast. It's at Walt Disney World, and it uh, is a bit bigger. But they also have different uh, different mugs and things like that. Um, I think the mugs are a big part of the reason why we like going to Trader Sam so much because it's just unique and different and fun. They're collectible. But also on top of that, the drinks that come in them are just really, really good in general. Oh, yeah. I think the only drink you don't like is uh, the Aoa. You actually don't like the Aoa that much. The which the Aoa is like when... the big drink that you share with like multiple I people. I get it when we're in a group, but I really don't like it. Yeah, last time we got it, you were a little disappointed. Yeah, and also I, I'm not a fan of their... I don't hear uh, their mojito. You don't like the mosquito mojito? That's no. my favorite. No, it's so good. No, uh, it was a different one. It was it was one of the newer drinks they had, where they have like the orange peel sitting in it. Oh yeah, and it had a like lot that. of bitters in it. Oh, you I don't, don't like, like bitters. that. Yeah, you don't yeah. like that. But uh, overall, I mean, just like the environment and, like I said, the vibe yeah. uh, and the theming of the entire establishment is just right up our alley. We love tiki. Tiki anything we really uh-huh. enjoy, especially me. I'm all about the tiki drinks. I feel like um, I feel like we've talked about lately how we're kind of, I don't know if we're just old now, but we prefer to sit outside rather than Oh, we've than said inside. that, yeah. It just gets loud. And, yeah, it's just like, it's fun. It's, you know, and it's festive and it's, it's exciting when all this stuff happens, but... We're just we're now we're just like I just want to enjoy my drink and to be able to hear the person next to me and not get sprayed with water. So yeah, it, I just it has don't its want charm, like a, yeah. But uh, it situationally, like if we're bringing someone new or we're like you, you know, haven't been there before. Yeah, you know, then you go in there. But yeah, yeah. But Trader Sam's is definitely high up on our list just for all the things that we've mentioned already. And I know that there's a couple holiday mugs I don't have. Like there was a there was a. Uh, an elephant mug that had like a little baby elephant and they were wearing Christmas hats and had lights on them. You don't I wasn't have... I wasn't totally all about yeah. that. But I mean there's a few on there that I have because of uh Brad uh from uh Views with Hughes. So big shout out to Brad yeah. for hooking me up because we actually traded this is how we actually became friends, I think. Like we became friends early on because we actually traded uh mugs of the of the hitchhiking or the the hatbox ghost mug yeah because i had two of the one from here which for some reason i bought two like there was no reason for me to buy two i just bought two and then he had two of his i was like oh well let's trade Uh uh-huh and it's a beautiful friendship now yeah it's blossomed so, so but now he you, and that is too. the perfect one to have one of each because they're different. It's, it's not like the um the hitchhiking ghost kind of totem pole one where it's just a different color on the other coast. It's different. So like um I forget which was from which coast, but one mug the hatbox ghost skull is on his head, and the other one it's in the hat box. So it's the hat, perfect. The one in the hat box is from the east coast. Yeah. The one with his head and on his body is from here. Yeah. So it, it's really cool to, to have one of each of those. And on that shelf, I also have s- stuff from uh, east coast places that we'll be talking about as well. Yes. Uh, Nikki, before we move on, uh-huh. can you guess what my two favorite mugs are oh. from Trader Sam's? And we're just and just to make it a little easier for you. We're just talking from California. Negate anything from Grog Grotto. Just talking about Enchanted Tiki Bar. Okay. I'm going to say classic Trader Sam's um, barrel. Nope. Oh. <laughs> you were so confident. Is it the 60th one? Yeah, the 60th okay. is definitely one of them. It has so, diamonds in Yeah, so the 60th one is a very dark green with almost like black highlights. And it has a very big tiki face on the front, very tiki room-esque. And its eyes have diamonds in them. But they're not real diamonds, obviously. They're like cubic zirconium. Um, is it the classic I why zombie I said it like head? That. Uh, no. Uh, is it the is the piranha gr- gr- grotto? No, the piranha's here. Is it the piranha? No. If you keep getting it wrong, eventually you'll get to the right Just one. Just tell me. It's the Hitchhiking Ghost one. The totem pole? Yeah, the Hitchhiking oh, yeah. Ghost. That's one of my favorites ever. Yeah, I didn't say that one. It seemed too easy. I should have said you it. You should have said it. <laughs> Runner up, I think, would be the barrel just because it's cool. Which I have two versions of that barrel. There's two versions of it. Yeah. So I think I like the old version better than the new version. Yeah. It's just a little bit more defined. Yeah. But you should post pictures of those so people know, know what, what we're talking, talking about. about. Yeah. 
Yeah, I'll make sure to. Yeah. So, uh, moving on. Uh, outside. Well, actually, there's. I think there's one more place in downtown Disney that we oh, like well, drinking there's, at. There's plenty of places, but a lot of well, them there's we also haven't been mo- to yet. There's more places that have yeah. opened up since the last time we've actually been. Yeah. But we also like. Uh, we got drinks at uh, the Uva Bar. We liked the drinks. We hated the food. That that's that middle one, right? Yeah. Yeah, drinks were fine, a bit expensive, but yeah. uh, so so was any place in downtown Disney. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, the Uber bar was fine. Um, I think that's it, downtown Disney wise. Uh, I mean, you can get drinks at any of the bars or yeah, any, of the, not, any of the restaurants. Not namely, places yeah. in my opinion, they're not places that's like I must have a drink at that location. Yeah. And and if if if, if there's any recognition in in the places that we've been talking about. There's very defined reasons why we were going to those places, yeah. to those locations, whether it be the a specific drink, the theming, yeah. the mugs, you know, whatever it may be. Something that makes it a little bit special out of the ordinary, because yeah. like you said, there, there's plenty of bars. We, well, we like um, uh, the Jazz Kitchen. Jazz Kitchen, but still, no, like, still it's even like the Jazz though. Kitchen yeah. is very like, whoop to do. We would get a drink there, but we don't go for the drinks. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I guess it's like we're talking distinctly about a place... We would go for the drinks because of those reasons I kind of listed out. I guess it would just be the two bars that we already said. Steakhouse 55 and, and Chanda Tiki Room. Yeah, or Chanda Tiki Bar. Yeah, Trader yeah. Sam's. That's really it. Um, and then obviously the stuff in the Great, Great California. Yeah. Moving on to DCA. Yeah. Uh, Carthay Circle. Carthay Circle. Oh, man. I feel it, like that, probably, that would be a mistake if we didn't probably mention that place. Probably tied with Trader Sam's, if not slightly above Trader Sam's. Really? Yeah. You think that? Yeah, You're insane. I just like it. I disagree with you. Yeah, no, Trader Sam's is better. It's still, it's You're up just there, trying though. to appease me. Stop no, it. No, I was, I, I was saying it as a bold statement, and then I asked myself in my heart, Nikki, do you really feel that way? And my heart said no. So, yeah. The thing is, is that... Tiki Room, Tiki Bar is just very, very, very fun. I, I have whimsical, more memories with Whimsical and silly yeah. and just a good time. Stop calling it Enchanted Tiki Bar, by the way. You're really throwing me off. Just keep calling it Trader, Trader Sam's. Trader Sam's Enchanted Tiki Bar. It's just, the same thing. Just call it Trader Sam's like everyone else on the planet. Enchanted Tiki Bar. Enchanted Tiki Bar. Stop. <laughs> you're you're throwing Sam's. me off. Trader Sam's. Okay. Um, it, it's fun. You know, and yeah. it has good drinks and yeah. it has a personality. That's not saying that Carthay Circle doesn't. It's just a little bit it, like like Steakhouse 55. It's refined. It's a refined yeah. place. This isn't the place that you're getting like a sugary tiki drink. You're getting a nice old fashioned yeah. or a Manhattan or a sidecar or a Sazerac or something uh-huh. like that. You're getting those those fancy old timey drinks. And there's something to be said about the experience of getting those old drinks, listening to the renditions of the Disney music in there, sitting next to an old picture of Walt at like a at like a, a premiere of one of the movies. Yeah, there's something very nice and very classy about it. Yeah, and it just it's a nice place to just chill out. Like if you're done, you know, going on all the rides, or you just need a break, it's just a really nice ch- place to just chill out even before dinner. And I think part of the appeal and the novelty of Carthay Circle was. Um, obviously before, um, Star Wars opened, it, it was really the only place to just drink in a bar in a Disney property. Like, you know, like in a, a Disney park, park in, in a Disney park, in Disneyland resort. In, yeah. In California, you know, cause sure. You know, if you go to the, the, um, the restaurant, the vineyard restaurant, whatever that's called, I don't know. It was whatever the Italian restaurant that is there. Yeah, yeah I forgot yeah. what it is. Yeah, so you you could drink there. That well, then then there was also the um, Cove Bar. Cove Bar, yes. Which we well, I also. But still, that's R. not R. the same. It's kind of not the same thing. No, it, it it's it, a different vibe. Co- it's a different Cove situation. Bar is like a. It's more like relax. It, it's like it like Carthay Circle's like a legit bar. Yeah, this yeah. is more just kind of yeah. There, it's I know what you're trying to say, and it's it's hard to describe exactly the difference between the yeah. two. But there is a very distinct difference between a legitimate bar that is in the middle of the restaurant, yeah, as opposed to just like a bar that's kind of outside where you could get food and stuff near like the near Pixar Pier and stuff. Yeah. 
which it's changed since then. I don't know if Co- it's still Cove Bar. No, now it's been it's, a while since we've gone. It's, no, it's not Cove Bar anymore. It's but something else. It's, but it's not part of Lamplight Lounge. It's either. not part of Lamplight Lounge. Which I love Lamplight Lounge. I do have to well, say. I thought Lamplight Lounge was fun. Yeah. But I thought at least the drink I, I got think, was a little lackluster. I mean, no, it was it was I, cool because it had this, the 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 the, the yeah. effervescence and the dry ice at the bottom, yeah. so it was bubbling. But overall, it was kind of a lackluster drink. And I said this on the show. I want to give it another shot when it's a little bit of a warmer night and we can sit outside. Yeah, you were. We were sitting inside and it was very cold that night when yeah. we went. Yeah. So I mean, the outside area just seemed to have a whole different vibe than the inside area. Very, very yeah. different vibe. So I would very have liked different. to sit out there. And whatever the Cove Bar is renamed, uh, that's just a fun, you know, casual place to drink with a nice view, and that that's still super fun too, you know. And I liked it as Cove Bar. I'm sure I'll like it as as whatever it is now. And it's expanded. It's bigger. The the one reason I don't like that is because you have to wait so long to get in there. There was always such a long line. Yeah, I mean, there's sometimes there's a line for Carthay Circle, but it always seems to go pretty quickly. And if you get there at the right time, you can get in without a line and. You know, mm-hmm. so that's that's fine. Yeah. But there, there's you always have to wait like an hour before you go into the Cove Bar. It's like by that time, hey, the mood's gone. You don't those, want to drink anymore. Those drinks and lobster nachos yeah, are not, not worth it. I'd rather at be in all. line for Guardians. Mm-hmm. If you know, if I have an hour to spend at California Adventure, I'm not gonna wait in line. You for needed a, bar. a fast pass for that stupid yeah, line. Like, yeah. Seriously. Oh, a, 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 Can a I a single Q-less, rider this line? <laughs> a a, a queueless line system where everyone will they like call you back. They should do yeah. that. That would be smart because then you have people spending money elsewhere yeah like oh let's go grab a beer over by the golden zephyr before you know we go into this bar yeah i mean that's a good that's a recipe for disaster but well you, know, you well, could hopefully have you people... don't go drink more while you're waiting hopefully you'll go I mean, get realistically a that's what people would do or go on no you think, would go think on about what you would do if you were a dem if you were in dca and you're looking to get your buzz on and you're spending a bunch of money would you rather go on a ride and eat, or would you rather get a beer to have before you go to the bar and you have your food and your drink there? Well, it depends on what type of day I'm intending to have there. A if, buzzed day. Oh, then yeah. Yeah, but, exactly. But, That's what people are trying to do when they go there. if I want to just, like, relax for a little bit at a bar but still have a good time going on rides, I'm going to spend that hour going on Guardians or, or like, Incredicoaster. Incredicoaster and then go drink. So it just depends on what type of day I want to have. True, true. True. Yeah. I think everybody wants to have a buzzed kind of day. Yeah. Yeah. And um, <laughs> and since we're talking about DCA, I've already said this on the show before, too. I'm not a fan of drinking at food and wine. Yeah. Uh, I mean. No, I'm not. Eh. They're $8. I'm not talking drinks. about you. are talking about no, me. No, Don't I'm talking, speak for no, me. No, <laughs> I am talking about me. I'm not speaking for you. They are $8 mini drinks. You have to spend, like, the mortgage of a house to get a buzz during <laughs> <laughs> during food and wine. They did have a jalapeno margarita last time, and that was really good. I do love me a jalapeno margarita. I still I don't think it would have been worth one. it. No, I can get a better, cheaper one. Somewhere else. Somewhere else. But would you have the fun vibes of DCA with it? They no. are not fun <laughs> vibes during food and wine. They are crowded sardine vibes during food and wine. I don't even want to go to DCA during food and wine. You meet me at Disney or at Trader Sam's. I'm not going in that part. The Chitty Tiki Bar? <laughs> you are pushing my buttons. Let's move to Disneyland. Yeah. So there's only one place in Disneyland that we have been to together that uh, we enjoyed drinking at and just because of the environment, and that would be Club 33. What? Um, I've been to Club 33 a few times. You've been once. Once. Uh, The drinks there are second to none. They're so good. They're so nice. And I mean, like, as Disney nerds, as Disneyland nerds, there's no better place to have a nice drink yeah. than Club 33. Yeah. You have the drink in your hand, and you're walking on the balcony watching all the people walk by in New Orleans Square, you know, looking out into the distance. Like, it's just phenomenal. And I think a lot of it has to do with the view and the location as opposed to the drinks. But it, it still is good drinks. Yeah. No, Club 33 is definitely... Gosh, if you if you're lucky enough to get to go in there, like like 
I was very lucky to get to go in there. Thank you, Gabe, for working literally for two years to try to get me in there. You're welcome. And you made it just in time for my birthday. So I went for my birthday. Mm -hmm. And I think I got like a wine pairing with dinner. Yeah, and you were like, I don't know, what should I do? I'm like, when is the next time you're yeah. going to be at Club 33? Get the wine pairing. <laughs> yeah, and it was just so nice. Like, I had a drink in my hand. We were out on the balcony looking down at New Orleans Square. That's funny. Did we watch was... fireworks up there? No, we didn't no. watch fireworks. No, they were going off from up there. Yes, you actually 100% yeah. right, because the main dining room... The big window on the uh, facing the rivers of America. If you look at it from an angle, you could see where the fireworks yeah. are shooting off from. So we were sitting there, watching the fireworks from that. But distance. we were still at our table, I think. No, we weren't. We, we were we sitting. At, yeah, we got up and moved. Okay. Because yeah. we were some of the last people there. Yeah. So you're oh, yeah. you're one hundred percent right. That was the same attitude I had when we went to Victoria and Alberts when we had the chef's table. Uh huh. You're like, I don't you're know just if like, I want to do the you're wine. Just like, like, just freaking do it. When's the next time we're gonna be at the chef's table? You're just like shameless bragging right now. I'm not shameless bragging. It's the truth, though. <laughs> like, when, do, do you know when the next time you're going to be at the chef's table at Victoria Probably and Probably never. Exactly. Then why would you ever decide, I not don't know if I need that. Pairing. No, you need it. Yeah. You need it. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> you know, there's, there's, there should be no second guess about it. It's just do it. You, yeah. you're, you're, when's the next time you're going to be there? Yeah, and I don't regret that. I don't regret no. that. No. I regret getting all. the coffee because I barely drank it. But it was fun but watching it was them fun. make it. It was just like... Willy Wonka like contraption that they were making this coffee and it was like all steampunky and like there did not need to be that many tubes and I was thoroughly confused by it <laughs> I was very confused but it was by a it. good cup of coffee no it was that very I tasty. didn't need because I was so full after like ten oh my plus god I was so and, full and wine oh, and and appetizers and a mouche bouche and and chocolate covered nonsense and it was... <laughs> <laughs> chocolate covered everything. <laughs> It was the chocolate-covered strawberries that had the been cherries. macerating cherries. in brandy cherries. for what? Or cherries, yeah. yeah. What did I just say? Strawberries. Yeah. Cherries that were macerating in... Don't say that word. Macerating? <laughs> I'm not saying that it nasty makes me word. It just makes me uncomfortable. Do you mind if I macerate in front of oh you? Oh my god, stop it. <laughs> <laughs> um... My drink I, is gone, by I have the way. To, I ha yeah, I know it is. Yeah. You, I have to say it again. The chairs that were macerating in brandy for over a you, certain amount of time. Did you just say chairs? Cherries. Okay. I thought you said the chairs. Clearly your drink is gone. <laughs> cherries that have been macerating in brandy for over what? A like, year. Over a year, yeah. two years, something like that, and then dipped in chocolate. Literally, oh my yeah. God. Literally, they had jars lined up on the side with the with dates written on them. Yeah, I remember asking him, like, what are those things in those jars? They're cherries. Like, this is what you're about to eat. And yeah. like, oh, sweet. Yeah, no, that's so good. But yeah, anyway, wine pairing with Club 33. Did that mm -hmm. and got pretty tipsy. But that's Thank okay, because... At that time, where else could you do that? In Disneyland. Nowhere. Now you can at Oga's Cantina, but yeah. you'll notice that Oga's Cantina is not on our absent list. from our list. I haven't been there, but Gabe went there, and it's not. Eh. The drinks were tasty. Yeah. The mugs were cool. The environment is cool. Service was complete crap. Maybe that'll get so better. So bad. Maybe that'll get better. We should give it another try. Oh, eventually. no, I'll give it another yeah. try next time I but go, But so of course. far, first impressions, you were not impressed with the service at Ogus. I mean, like, I would have, like, if the service was good, then that would have just, like, like, that would have been second to Trader Sam's to me. Yeah. Because, I mean, for me, you can't beat Tiki Bar, but you just cannot... You can't match that kind of an experience when your service is just not there. Yeah. Like, literally, the bartender was throwing the coasters at us, like, yeah. like flinging them at us. And it's like, dude, like, if you're in a character, I, I get it, but this is not a character. Like, you're just being a jerk right yeah. now. Like, avoiding eye contact, nobody approaching us. We were standing for 35 minutes waiting for somebody to just acknowledge our presence. Yeah. Like, and this was, wasn't uh, opening geez. day either. It was like, it was like two weeks, weeks after. Weeks and weeks and yeah. weeks after, you know? Yeah. Yeah, so like three fourths of the way through that reservation period, so yeah. they had time. Yeah, I, I don't know what was going on, but that's a different conversation. So Ogus is not on this list, um, but Club Thirty Three is the place that we really like drinking at uh, when we're at Disneyland, when we have the opportunity to go. Yeah, a lot. Most like we said, most of this list is before baby. It's now, mostly before baby. Because now we go. I think we've been to Trader Sam's once together since we've had her, and she's nine months now. And she wasn't with us. No, she wasn't with us. Obviously. Um, <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, so. I think, that's, <laughs> I, think I got a beer at Knott's. Yeah, we both yeah. have had beers at Knott's yeah. since we've had her. Yeah. But like we haven't done like the extra stuff that we would normally would be. Yeah. Darn baby. <laughs> <laughs> we love Get her. Get in the way of my drinking. <laughs> mm. No. Worth it. Mm-hmm. Um but yeah, you just as you, you just appreciate the times you do spend drinking now because they're fewer. Pretty much. Um, or you drink like um, at like at eleven o'clock at night. Or you yeah, or you drink your frozen daiquiri. Daiquiri at eleven o'clock <laughs> at night. And eat it with a spoon. T- to be fair, the only reason I drank or ate that daiquiri was to get in the spirit for today's episode. Well, there you go. It worked. It did work. There you no, go. No, I was slap happy before I drank that. Yeah, I you were just, very slap happy before you drank that. Just in a kooky mood. Let's travel away from Disneyland and go to a magical place called our backyard. What? Hollywood. Specifically Universal Studios Hollywood. We didn't already do that? No. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, we haven't talked about this yet. I was in my head I was gonna do Universal before Disney. Oh, but then I segued straight from holiday to holiday. That's your fault. And, yeah, it's my fault. Okay. <laughs> Universal Studios. Yes. Uh so when it comes to City Walk We don't yeah, like we drink a City Walk. We drink a City Walk. Nothing yeah. unbelievably special. I mean Margarita feels nice, Margarita. but it's kinda of blah. Yeah, I've had a few margaritas. Their nachos are impressive. Um, Very impressive. I would rather go there for their nachos than their margaritas, to be honest. Um, Saddle Ranch was the place to go to really get messed up. I if miss you re- if you Ranch. really wanted to get messed up, that was the place to go. I really, that place is gone. It's leveled. There. Gone. Yeah, yeah we, we did have one of my birthdays yeah. there. And when we saw Sausage Party at the theater. Oh, yeah, and everybody <laughs> fell asleep. Yeah. Yeah, that happens. <laughs> but, yeah, Saddle Ranch was a place that was pretty fun to drink yeah. at, but that's obviously gone now. Uh, if we're moving into... Well, I'm trying to think of, like, other places. Oh, Hell, Hell of the Moon. The moon. Hell of the Moon is yeah. a great place. Well-priced drinks. Happy hour. You can get, like, Ooh. $2 drinks and just... Don't do not do that. No. <laughs> just don't do it. <laughs> It's a smarter decision not to do that. Uh, yeah, and then just like just like um, downtown Disney, it's like restaurants. A lot of where restaurants where you can get drinks. I mean, they do have the brewery there. What is the brewery? What is that called? What is it? I don't know. It's on the tip of my tongue. I almost said Gordon. Strauss? Carl Strauss. Yeah. I almost said Gordon Beer. <laughs> not it at all. That's yeah. nice. We did go there. Yeah, it was good um, to get like a beer flight and stuff like that. Flight. So if you're like a beer connoisseur, yeah. you get the different kind of beers there and their beer uh uh their beer list is changing throughout the season uh-huh. depending on like what beers are in and stuff like that. Yeah. So more fitting with what's actually like what the weather is, which is kinda nice. Yeah. Um but moving from there to inside the park There's really only the pub. Now there's another place that we haven't gone to. But oh, the Hogshead, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hogshead Pub is the place to go. In... No, but then there's the pub on the British Street, too. Oh, yeah, there is that one, too. Yeah. Um, for me, like, it, this isn't particularly because of the drinks. Like, they're all, like, whatever beers there are. I mean, like, in the Wizarding World, they have specific Wizarding World beers. But, like, yeah. the, the Irish pub down the street, I don't know. Yeah. Just whatever beers. Yeah. But uh, it's just about environment and location. So, I mean, like, we like Irish pubs in general, so that's the reason why we would like going there. And then, obviously, Wizarding World is just incredible, and just being in that environment is just fantastic. And you can't get uh, fire whiskey and hot butter beer anywhere else. That is, the that is like, the end-all, be-all favorite alcoholic drink at Universal Studios. Yes. Is fire whiskey, so, like, a, a fireball inside of hot butter beer. So good. It's Christmas in your mouth. Yep. That sounds weird. No, it does sound weird. Macerating Christmas in your mouth. Tinsel is painful. <laughs> Who put tinsel in your drink? <laughs> That's Christmas. In your mouth. That's in your mouth. I don't eat ornaments. Uh, <laughs> Moving on. Yeah. I the didn't place... know where to go from that. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard to segue from <laughs> eating tinsel. Okay. I don't, uh, nah, I don't know how to segue from that. Tinsel, not just for decoration. What's that from? Tinsel, not just for deck. Oh, 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 the Santa Claus. Yeah, 10 points for you. Oh, God, imagine pooping that out. That would do, suck. Do, do, 10 points for you. He did not eat it in the Santa Claus. He opened a jail cell with it. Yeah, I know that. Just uh, clarifying. He cut through all the bars. Yeah. I remember. 
I'm a movie person. I know that stuff. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, the other places at Universal Studios Hollywood that we haven't been able to go to yet, which I've been dying to go to, is Isla Nubar. Yeah. Which is a new bar location that is by what is going to be uh, the new Jurassic World ride, uh, which has yet to be given an, an opening date. At least as of this recording, yeah. <laughs> to watch tomorrow, like, it opens today. <laughs> it's like, oh, well, damn. That's why Theme Park Duo Podcast is not my source of news. <laughs> <laughs> I would have found out about that two weeks from now. Um, no, Isla Nubar um, is the newest location that's on the lower lot by the Jurassic World attraction. And it's tiki-inspired drinks, and they have, like, tiki cups and... You know, similar things that are kind of akin to uh, Trader Sam's and Chain of Tiki Bar. Yeah, so obviously so. we have to go there. Oh yeah, hands yeah. down. Like no questions asked. Like that is that is a location we and have a, to visit. Even dying to go for like two weekends in a row, but pretty much life happened. A baby happened. Yeah, I mean <laughs> life goes on. It's not the priority in life. No, we'll get there. It should be. <laughs> um. So yeah, so that's kind of our list of SoCal locations that we really enjoy going to to have a drink at. Theme parks. Yeah. If we're going to have like a little bit of an honor honorable mentions we should. list. We should have a Florida honorable mentions list. So first one on the Florida honorable mentions list, Jacques Lindsay's hanger bar. Yeah. That's the other mugs on the on the table. I left people hanging for so long. Whoa, they forgot. <laughs> hanger bar hanging. Uh, <laughs> Get it? <laughs> yeah. No, the, <laughs> they probably forgot. Yes, because it didn't matter. <laughs> I forgot. Uh, yeah. There's some mugs that are on this table over here that are from the uh, hanger bar as well. And for me, being a massive indiana Indiana jones fan hangar bar is incredible and i love having those drinks uh those mugs over there especially the uh chilled monkey brains mug yeah it's it's like a monkey face and you know obviously the opening is like the top of his head like in the movie and then you have the one that's a glass one i forgot what that one was called the glass one yeah oh that is that is the jovitos mojito probably Jovito something. I, don't know. I forgot. Yeah. But yeah, no, that one was out. The, like all those drinks were actually very, very, very good. Yeah. The only one I didn't like was the elixir. Oh, yeah. The Fountain of Youth Fountain elixir. Of you- oh, oh no. God. Oh, oh. Hey, if you're heading to Florida, do not get that drink. If it's At least in our opinion, we didn't like it. It wasn't good. Watch people be like, how dare you? <laughs> That's my Twitter handle. <laughs> <laughs> Fountain of Youth drink. Yeah, I don't know. Um, I just that that's something that totally could have happened. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah. So I know. Obviously, we mentioned already, but Grog Grotto definitely yeah, up there because Grotto. it is a. It's like Trader Sam's and Chanted Tiki Bar over here. It's the brother sister location. Those are really the only two bars that we sought out. Well, yeah, like, really yeah. just, like, we knew they existed and we wanted to go have a drink there. Yeah. But, like, we went to a few different places throughout the visit that we really enjoyed. On the, in, like, um, on the different resorts, you know. California Grill. Yeah. The drinks up in California Grill. I mean, like, that view is just uh-huh. outstanding, especially during fireworks. We got a. Incredible. I think we got a drink at one of the pool areas of the, is it the Grand Floridian? The Grand Floridian. I don't think we did. I we mean, we, we were went like to... walking all the way around, and there was a pool area that was kind of open. It was right by the water. Oh, we did, yeah, but we, we did drank it there. Drink. I don't think we walked around with it. No, we didn't walk around with it. We drank it there. Yeah, there was a pool area that we bu- you got we got margaritas. We got margaritas. You're right. It was yeah. by the Grand Floridian. So we Floridian. just yeah, so we just did things like that. And then, uh, I mean, pretty much the entire world showcase. We yeah. got multiple drinks around that place. Yeah, but I didn't get drunk. We got a little bit. No, I it wasn't. It because... wasn't. It wasn't like out like we... obscenely hammered. It was we like were kind of tipsy. We were rained out of our drink around the world escapade, so I it didn't count. <laughs> we'll never have it again. <laughs> yes, we will. We'll have children. We can't do that they... unless we go without them. No, or we bring. I mean, child else who can watch. Nikki's not pregnant. No, I'm not. <laughs> Um, One child. <laughs> how inappropriate. Um, I'm just like here drinking. Oh, I'm doing a podcast. Surprise. <laughs> no, I am not. We have one. We may have more in the future. And of course, they will all come with us to Walt Disney World. <laughs> um, but... Maybe. It depends on what we think. <laughs> depends on their grades. <laughs> no, well, anyway. No, we will drink around the world again. Even if we're like 60. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, It'll take all day, but I'll make it around with my walker. One. One random honorable mention is from our last trip to Florida when we stayed at Cabana Bay 
And one of my favorite places to drink in Florida is now in the Lazy River in Cabana Bay. <laughs> that was really cool. It was fun. We got we got spicy margaritas. We did. And they gave them in travel like mug shakers, yeah. pretty much with plastic straws. We just sat in the funnel tube things and just floated in the river and drank margaritas. Yeah, who that was like pretty that? fantastic. And talked about having a baby. <laughs> <laughs> That's a different oh, conversation for another time. That was just funny. Uh, we were on the topic. Um, but yeah, so yeah. Like, <laughs> sip, sip. Want to have a kid? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Boom, sick child. <laughs> the other yeah. Room. Um, yeah, been there. There you go. Yeah. Is there any other places in Florida that we want to mention? Um, that we went to? Because it's hard for us. We went to, um, we went to the pub that was in... Uh, in a, the England Pavilion in the World Showcase. I got a beer in the American Pavilion. Oh, yeah. We got margaritas. We got uh, Bellinis in Italy. Bellinis. There was another drink there, we got. There was one drink that you ran out and got me while it was raining. It was hot. Yeah, I forgot what it was. Yeah. But I definitely got you something yeah. else. And then I had something else, too. Just don't remember what it was. But we had plenty of drinks that were there. Yeah, I think we had wine with dinner in the Fred. No, we didn't go to too. we didn't go to the Derby oh. in Hollywood Studios. What? I remember how much our honeymoon made us like French onion soup. Ah, oh, French onion oh soup. God. We were craving it for like six months after. It was very good. Yeah, <laughs> I think we had French onion soup like four times that visit. Yeah, if not more. Mm-hmm. Oh, another location that we drank it that we actually really enjoyed, and I think this is just from sentimental attachment and just like experience was the bar at the pool at Riverside at Port Orleans Riverside. Oh, yeah. The pool location that we were near, the bar that was right there. And the, because that was literally the day we got there, we were like, we're going to get a drink. Yeah. It was our <laughs> we put our we put our stuff in our room. Actually no we had our bags, didn't we? Did no, we, we have put our bags? Our, no, oh, we, we put went our straight bag. to the room first. Yeah. So we put the bags away. Literally went there and just like it's our honeymoon. We just got here. Yeah. Yeah. And just, just scanned our magic bands and boom, we're off to the races. Yep. That was great. Oh my God. That was so good. I miss going. So <laughs> we'll go back. Soon. Yeah. There's a plan in the works. There is. So I think that's it. Like honorable mentions. Yeah, I think so too. I can't think of anything else. There's plenty of new places out there that I want to go to now uh-huh. uh, that have opened since we've gone uh, like the Edison uh-huh. uh, in a few other locations. There's Abracadab Bar. Abracadab Bar, one of Rick West's favorite uh-huh. locations. We've never been there. We have not been there. That was something that we meant to try but forgot uh-huh. to. But anyway, I think that kind of is a well-rounded list of locations I to think drink that's at. Good, yeah. So we, we gave everyone some pointers for you know the different parks and mm-hmm. yeah. That was a fun episode. It was fun. A little less. It was casual. Yeah, it was more cash yeah. than anything else. That's fine. Cash is better for you. you oh, just kind yeah. of flow and kind of do your I own need thing. that. Yeah, if it's too structured, I panic. Oh, did I go past the point of no return? Yes, we did. Every time. Every time. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, thank you, everybody, for listening to this week's episode. I well, almost said you're welcome. <laughs> you're welcome. <laughs> uh, before we go, I definitely want to give a couple shout outs, and we have an announcement to make <sighs> as well. Uh, a couple shout outs. Definitely want to give a shout out to UUOP, our partners in crime over there at the Unofficial Universal Orlando podcast. Yay. If you guys haven't listened to their show yet, you definitely should. They've given a review. Or at least they've had an episode talking about Hagrid's, uh, and they cover lots of amazing stuff at Universal Orlando Resort, so make sure to listen to them. And then also want to give a huge shout-out to the guys over at Grim Grinning Hosts, which I got to be in an episode with them. Nikki was taking care of the baby, so she was absent. Yeah. But I was on the show, and we did an episode where we pit... The Amazing Adventures of Spider-Man against Transformers the Ride, and you might be surprised on the outcome of who won that episode. Probably not. I think you might be. <laughs> um, so yeah, I definitely want to give those guys shout-outs. And then the announcement! Big time! <laughs> I was literally about to say drum roll, and the fact that you did it on your own makes me really happy. <laughs> I lost it! <laughs> I was going to let you just keep going. I wanted to see how long you were going to go. I can't even do it now. I'm laughing. Okay. So Nikki and I 
will be having a live recording at Midsummer Scream 2019. <sighs> so on a to be determined day and a to be determined time. Yeah. We'll be having a live recording where we're going to be interviewing a guest. So everybody is welcome. If you're coming to Midsummer Screen, make sure you stop by the show. We'll make sure to let everybody know what day and what time it's going to be at so uh-huh. that you know when to be there. Pretty sure it's not going to be conflicting with any of the major panels. Hopefully not. So we'll let everybody know the information once we have it. But please come by the live recording. We're going to be probably be doing a giveaway. Uh, it's going to be a really good time, and this is a big, exciting opportunity for us. So we want to give a huge thank you to the people over at Midsummer Scream. Thank you so inviting much. Inviting us out there to uh, have a live recording, and hopefully we'll see all your beautiful faces in the audience and get to meet some of you that listen to the show or, you know, get to know everybody. Yeah. So it's going to be a good time. Really excited. Thank I'm you so much. I'm terrified. Yeah, you, you're a little terrified. Yeah. You're a little terrified. Yeah, yeah. You'll be <laughs> I do I do well enough here in our safe little Office. studio yeah to record in um, yeah live audience <laughs> <laughs> we'll see how I do maybe I'll need one of those uh, daiquiris frozen daiquiris We're gonna, you're gonna see like three <laughs> glasses of empty daiquiri I'm gonna be like across the street uh, at one of the bars, like there's right a piano before. dueling piano bar there. There is a dueling piano bar. I don't think I'll go there though. I'll go to one. Of, I'll go to like Applebee's. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see Nikki downing shots? It's like I have to be okay. I have to be okay. No, I just need to. I just need to get a little liquid courage. There you go. Yeah. But yeah, so we're gonna be having a live show at Midsummer Scream 2019. Stay tuned for more information about that. Yeah. But as I said, thank you again for listening to this week's show. If you enjoyed it, make sure you head on over to iTunes and leave us a five-star written review. It always helps us out. It's completely free to you. Yeah. Uh, and it helps us out by putting us up higher in the standard, uh, standards. Standards. <laughs> Put us highest in the standards. Do we have high the, standards? No. <laughs> uh, puts us higher in the standings and makes it easier for people to find us and enjoy us like you are right now. If you want to connect with us over social media, make sure you check us out via YouTube, Facebook, Instagram. Twitter. And Twitter. All you have to do is search Theme Park Duo. And then if you want to email us, if you have questions, comments, concerns, topics you want to hear, topics you don't want to hear, more episodes where we talk about alcohol. Favorite <laughs> recipes for quiche. Give That's random. If there's places that we didn't mention on our list that you really enjoy drinking at, at any of the SoCal theme parks or theme parks in Orlando, you can email us at themeparkduo at gmail.com Yes, you can. Thank you again, everybody. And always remember, there's there's always always a great, great, big, beautiful beautiful tomorrow. tomorrow. See See ya! Thanks for riding with the Theme Park Duo. Make sure to gather all your belongings before the end of the podcast. Bye bye